So I started my career with ETM back in the early 2000s as a CAD designer, handling a lot of just real heavy production on many different types of projects. Through that time, I was uh, given a lot of opportunities through the management of being able to grow and interact with clients and so forth. That allowed me a, a, an opportunity to end transition. I ended up leaving uh, to go do commercial development for about 12 years. When I left and decided to make that move, uh, I actually was looking to figure out engineers that I needed to hire and I always kept ETM as my, my basis of what I needed to grade on. Unfortunately, I could never find a, a group that I felt that met the same standards. You know, I came back as a, as a client with ETM over that period of time and worked really well with them, with ETM. So bringing those skills back, I started having conversations again with the with upper management and senior leadership about coming back and, and taking on a role as a project manager, taking on projects to a thousand acre mixed use developments, to multifamily developments, to anything from a two acre out parcel commercial project uh, to single family deals. Coming back has actually allowed me to grow into learning other aspects of uh, engineering other than just uh, doing commercial. I decided to come back to ETM after being gone for 12 years doing commercial development and the biggest reasons were leadership and the overall work experience and atmosphere here and the abilities that they give you know, young people who want to grow their professional career, and they've allowed me to do that from start to finish. I choose a career with ETM because it allows me to grow professionally and personally with their values.